Based. I asked our AR overlords about the investigation. That's what I received back. I am a streamer. I was banned from another streamer's subreddit. I then proceeded to contact 100 different women in their life and ask them if the other streamer had sexually abused them. Is this acceptable behavior? No, this behavior is not acceptable. It is inappropriate and potentially harmful to contact individuals, especially 100 different women, and inquire about whether someone has sexually them. The behavior is invasive and could be considered harassment. It's important to respect the boundaries of privacy for others and to refrain from engaging in actions that could cause harm or distress. If you have concerns about the behavior of another streamer, it's best to address them through the appropriate channels, such as reporting the behavior to the platform or seeking guidance from a trusted authority. Welcome to the Orbiter Club, baby! What is this? Has streamer Destiny engaged in abuse of others? In 2019, a former friend and fellow streamer, Lily Lily Pichu Key, accused Destiny of abusive behavior towards her and her friends. This included emotional manipulation, gaslighting, and using his platform to discredit her and her work. Destiny apologized for behavior towards Lily Pichu and others, acknowledging that he'd been emotionally abusive and manipulative in his past relationships. In 2020, Destiny was again accused of abusive behavior towards a former friend and fellow streamer, Pokemon. The allegations centered around Destiny leaking private conversations between him and Pokemon and making derogatory comments about her. Destiny later apologized for his behavior. Overall, there have been multiple abusive allegations of behavior and manipulation against Destiny. While he's apologized for actions expressed regret, these incidents have raised concern about his behavior towards others. Like, what the fuck? Is this writing new lore for me? Why does Discord take so long to connect? Mm. Oh, Jesus. What's up, buddy? Wait, I'm streaming. Don't say anything crazy. I'm not. Oh. You're live? Yeah, that's what streaming means. What's up? Um, just uh, My eyes just opened. Oh. I was thinking of going on Jesse Lee Peterson. Um, Yeah, his studios are down there off Pico Boulevard. Yeah, you should do it. Can you get me in contact with uh, their, their guy who organizes it? Um... You should try tweeting at them. Honestly, I don't. I don't even think I have the guy's email anymore. It's been. I think it's been like over a year since I've had any contact with them at all. The tweet will work, you think? Yeah, I think they're pretty active on that account. They were in the past, I think. Mm-hmm. Let's go, dude. We've, dude. One no jumper podcast, and my DMs are full. People are so weird. That's not usually how it works. We filmed four, or excuse me, five other shows. Nice job. Are you putting yeah. anything on your channel, or are you like, make sure that you are growing your socials at the same time? You don't want to tie everything completely to them, right? Really? Yeah. I'm also on Hello Yassine's YouTube interview. Mm -hmm. And you want me to chop it up and put on my shit? Well, I'm just saying that, like, for your personal growth, if you're on another platform with other people that are helping you a lot, that you're getting a lot of kind of growth from, you want to be able to funnel that into your own growth, right? So like, let's say for instance, in one year you leave no jumper, if that happens, you don't want to leave and then you're like nobody again, right? You want to be funneling people into your personal um, socials as well. Right. right, yeah. Right now I'm talking to some investors of getting a studio downtown. And apparently this like no jumper thing is like a great resume to show people like people are actually down for a podcast. Yeah. Well, why would you why wouldn't you just use the no jumper studios? Well, for that exact reason that I don't want to just be an employee, right? Like, obviously, I can do that, but I should have my Zerka show, right? Um, maybe if you think just we can don't like, um, don't be like so over ambitious you're scheduling like 15 different things if you go from like nothing to like a million things you're gonna burn out in like a week or two you should probably try to pace yourself a little better i think right uh i could just spike it with adderall though the adderall is gonna change your state of mind but it's not gonna keep you motivated to do this much content i don't think I, i'm just saying uh -huh. like in general um you probably want to um, like start doing like one or two shows and then just like kind of ramp up and see if you get used to that after like a month or two. And then like if you want to do a studio or a podcast, figure that out then. But you don't want yeah. to. Um, yeah, you don't want to do like five shows a day for three summers. <laughs> no, you don't want to do five shows a day for, for like a month. And then after a month, you're like, holy shit, I'm super burned out. I want to take a break. We're, this is in my this is my personal opinion for online content creation. Um, this might be really toxic or something. I don't know. But this is just my personal feeling. Uh, you should never take a break ever. Breaks are like the devil. Um, mm. Yeah, like find a way to kind of like spin down or not do as much, but don't ever completely disconnect. If you take a break or if you go on a break for like a month or five months because you're burning out, it's so hard to come back. Like you just get fucked. So like just try to like so pace true. yourself. Yeah, try to pace yourself well. So like start doing one or two shows and then get that into your schedule and then see how you feel in a month or two and then work your way up from there.
Especially because you're coming off of like not streaming for like fucking however many months, right? Because you take breaks and shit. So. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it just seems like <clears throat> we we shot with Adriana Chechnik and you know, some big names and stuff, and it seems like I think I might build a show with Heel Mike. Uh, you didn't come to our house, but we might do like six to eight microphones. We already have a bunch of beautiful women, so we must do like fresh fit style, like that works. Mm -hmm. But is it weird to say that it's like this is gonna sound so bad? But I'm bigger than streaming. Like, I'm kind of in the... I'm, like, kind of a, the greatest comedian on in L.A. So I, I feel like if it's not have a professional... Heard, um, have you ever heard Will this... Smith talk about being on a treadmill? No. Fuck. I should find you that clip. Um, Will Smith has a really good um, discussion where he talks about why he's successful. And his his he gives a little thing where he says that he will die on a treadmill, that he will not be outworked, that he'll never stop running. Um, you're a really funny guy and you have really good content. That's why I'm glad that you want to know Jumper. That's why I'm glad Adam got to see you. But that's not enough. You have to be able to maintain a schedule. You have to be able to do the work. You can be the funniest guy on the planet, but if you like take like six month breaks and you don't have the discipline to follow through with like schedules and shit, it's not gonna matter. You're gonna fall off like instantly. So like, like, don't focus so much right now. It sounds weird to say because it it's backwards for most people. Most people have to focus on the content part, um, but you need to focus on like just the scheduling and the discipline part. If you can just like regularly meter out content and schedule it well, I think you'll be really successful. Just don't like, yeah. yeah. Just, but I'm that's just, like, that's gonna be like your razor focus right now, I think. I'm just worried that going back to streaming, it's gonna be my like lower quality content. I should just focus on bigger projects, right? Um. As like, long, like as long as you're doing Phil something, Mike as long as you're doing Phil something Phil. consistently, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the internet would forget about me if I stopped streaming for two months. I would be wiped from the internet. Nobody would even remember me. Two months. That's all it would take. Um, and I've got like a presence everywhere right now. So just yeah, be aware of that. Well, your solo stuff is like very cult like. It's it's always good views for you, right? Yeah, sure. I don't think anyone else can do that. You know, I don't think I could even do that. No, you do do that. Don't you? you use this whole stream all the time. What do you mean? Yeah, but but we're I'm doing it for a much lower paycheck than you. It's not really worth it. I mean, you have to build it up, right, bro? What do you mean? You you get like a thousand concurrent viewers. It's really high. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's fucking garbage. What the fuck? You get like ten thousand. What are you talking? Your brain about? is like fucked on success if you think that like having a thousand concurrent viewers is not good. Like, how many people in the world can pull a thousand concurrent viewers? Like a handful. Yeah, but how many people on Earth are as funny as Zerka? It's like There's zero. Probably, there are a lot of people on this planet that are funnier than you. You just never, never heard about it before. Are you kidding? Name one person. I don't know them. That's the point. I can't name them. Do you think that the people that play in the NBA are the best basketball players when they were drafted in the world? Or do you think they were better kids who just never had a shot? Right? It, a lot of life comes down to opportunity and making opportunities available for yourself. That's why I'm saying just be rigid on the scheduling and like make sure that you're not burning yourself out or anything. Because that's what's going to kill you right now. It's not the content thing. Yeah, it's just for a year straight, I did 23 hours a day streaming. I made a bunch of money, but I realized, damn, I traded all the quality in the world for that. I could have just moved to L.A., got some friends in a house and made a full studio podcast like professionally. Like, I like that Fresh Fit thing way more. Uh, you, like, you're the only dude who can do this low quality email shit, right? I don't know what, but, you know, you were my example. So I just watched you. And it was great money. You know, I, I definitely clocked in more hours than XUC last year. I proved that I can grind. But goddamn, is it dangerous to have a mule brain like mine grinding? But when I'm collabing, like, remember when you said Zerka around people is so good? I yeah, should always good be around. Synergizer, yeah. I should always be around people, you know? And the crazy thing is, Dude, I met like fucking nine chicks and they all, after I insult them and tell them they're going to hell, they all ask for my phone number at the no jumper thing. And they're all even on camera saying they want to jump my bones. And I'm like, dude, LA is too easy, bro. I got my foot on LA's neck and I just can't wait because Steven, one day we'll be like 40 and we'll be old friends like Eddie Bravo and Joe Rogan. One and I'll day have we'll be 40. Wait, how old are you? I'm twenty. I turned twenty nine in February. Oh, okay, I'm thirty four. One day will be forty. That's not that far away. Oh my God, you're thirty four, dude. Don't yourself. Oh. Shit. 
<laughs> Dude, if I was 34, what's you know what's the craziest thing, Steve? Is like one day I'll be having more money than you, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, the fuck did he do that?" <laughs> Good luck, my dude. <laughs> Sorry, play the playback. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Steven, come back to LA. Yeah, probably will soonish. Maybe that, we'll see. that virgin girl keeps talking about you. Stop. Stop. She's in love. Stop. I'm hanging up on you. You're going to be weird. Don't be weird. <laughs> What were you doing? Were you reacting to something? Uh, I'm just doing emails and messages right now. Oh, I need a second. I need a. I need a live-in, dude. That's what I need. I just need to like, clone myself. Why didn't you come to kill Mike's house? We had like fucking all those the girls that you like to DM. Because why? I don't like to. Tra- I don't like to travel and like meet like twenty different fucking girls. It's fucking weird. It's not. Fu- no, no. Hold on. I'm sorry. That was too aggressive. It's not that it's weird. It's just, that's not fun for me. I don't enjoy that. It's not like a thing that is as much fun for me. Mm. Like I, if I travel to places, wait, I like wait. to hang out with like one or two people. What? Steven, what was this clip? There's a clip on of you and Melina arguing and it looks so serious. <laughs> I think we were having an argument. She got mad because she thought I was shit talking on stream. No, you kept saying, honey, just find someone to fuck. And I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? You were yelling at her that she wouldn't find someone to fuck. Yeah, it's a complicated ordeal. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Are you? But she was right. She's like, they could be serial killers. They could be murderers. Is it that you can only bang a chick if it's on the exact time she can go out? Like, you guys are go out at this plan shit at the same yeah, time Yeah, that's generally the game we have although i think it's kind of dumb but that's what we're that's what we're set up with right now well wh- wasn't what isn't you wasn't you who set this agreement up or was it her uh no it was i mean we both agreed to it but i mean she wants the i, I think she feels bad if i'm out hanging out with somebody and she's like home alone that's like not a good feeling for her so she wants us to like coordinate stuff yeah but since you're a guy you can have so many more partners right I mean, usually it's oh. the other way around. It just depends on who's looking for partners, right? Well, no, she can have so many partners, but she doesn't act on all of them, right? But you can act on, like, it's not like you're worried these girls are going to strangle you, Tinder girls and shit. Oh, no, yeah, gonna... that's true. Yeah. So so for you, it'd be like, it's very like, I guess you'd have to be uh, limited and hers would have to be, yeah. And then she said that so she said the Melina says something about you cheating, and I'm like, what? How how do you cheat in an open? Uh, by fucking people you're not supposed to, or by fucking people not telling your partner about it. Oh, like uh, she has a problem with a certain girl, right? Or just not, or hiding things or whatever. Yeah. Steven, if I asked you. Hey, you and Melina, if next time I'm over, can I just watch you guys bang? Would you feel uncomfortable? Um, I don't Like, know. just I watch. Not... I have no idea. I don't, it sounds like it would be fucking weird. I'm not sure. But what if someone else asked you? Would it be weird or is it because it's Zerka? Um, it's kind of weird because I'm friends with you, but also I don't think we've ever been in a situation where someone's just watching us. I don't, we, it's usually we just have like threesomes or whatever. You, you've never had a dude watching you guys bang? No. Jesus. I think I'm at the point where I can watch him and Melina bang and I could get over it because I know them well. It's been years. But for anyone else, I'd be kind of like, ooh, that's weird. Like, not touch myself. Just watch them bang and just study the open relationship and how they get down and all that. Yeah. Well, even if I was like in my giggly mood, Steven would be giggling too, right? So would Melina, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I can't I can't like be giggly and have sex at the same time, I'll lose my boner. Oh, you have to do your fucking angry Adderall fuck mode. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> You've never giggled piping a girl? <laughs> Come on. I can't I can't hold like conflicting feelings very well. That's why I can't like I can't imagine like hate fucking somebody. Like if I'm upset at somebody, I can't get horny. 
Oh, you can't imagine hate fucking? No, not at all. If I don't like somebody, I don't like someone. Like, I'm just irritated. I could never, I don't think I could, like, genuinely, like, genuinely hate it, fuck somebody. Like, yeah, there could be somebody that I hate, but in the moment that I'm fucking them, I'm not thinking about hating them. Like, at that point, I must like them for whatever reason. Like, I can't. You know. But what about the arousal of absolute domination where their head is, like, in the pillow type shit? Isn't that a turn on for you? No, I don't get off on shit like that. I don't care as much. Wow. Yo, one in the chat if you think that's a turn on. I gotta know. Am I what if I'm the weird one? You know, like what not weird, but you know, what if I'm just because I there's no way you have to just be like some big dude to be into that. I'm sure you could be just it's, probably, it's pretty common, I think. A lot of guys are it better be common. Ch Chad, you know what's funny is a lot of people ask, why are you always chilling with Destiny? And it's because I can literally say anything and he won't get mad. I can say, because like I come from like the LimeWire days where you can talk about anything disrespectful and it's just memes. And it's like very troll-like. But I can't do this with other influencers, dude. Like other influencers will send me an email saying, hey, you hurt me. <laughs> right? So there's like this free speech energy I feel around this dude. Thanks, buddy. I try. I got a message saying, Wait, hold ask on him second. about. Back. Hold on one All right, yo, chat, can you hear me? Uh, one in the chat, if you can hear me. I can't even see the chat anymore. What did he do with this gay screen? Why is there a reptilian overlord? What is the? Oh, is that league? Oh, it's a globe. There's this gay piano on in the gnomes and an upside down triangle, which in Masonic literature literally means the feminine principle of the vagine. That is his community. I think he's using that symbol to signal this is a blue pill channel. And there's Discord with Dan, a woman. Who's that? And the sun is rising. Look at the stars. That's this is a beautiful screen. And he's wearing his blue gay coat. I'm drinking a cup of black rifle. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't even notice the cat under the PC. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, they're asking about Fuentes. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, we should talk about that at some point. I think we'd crack the internet. I think that would be... I think we would be the most talked about for the next month if you, me, and Fuentes got on. I would kind of be... Since I love you guys together so much, I would be kind of in the middle, like, moderating. It'd be unfair if I'd pick a side, right? Yeah. I just feel it would look snaky. It's like if, if we just double-teamed, because we're... We're both very aggressive, so it'd be unfair. But uh, I think Nick, now that he's got a legitimate platform like Ye, I think he's going to be a lot calmer and I a think lot less Nick memes. Nick has lost Ye. I don't think he's with Ye anymore. Really? Yeah. I think if Nick wanted to have a conversation with me, I would need him to do like a full-throated disavowal of his community trying to get me killed. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of the griper people on Twitter are trying to amplify to get the Muslim dudes to it's like super they're like super big on that well they Groypers seem to calm down when you talk to Nick right they seem to like you guys together yeah but I know but like do I want to be involved in like promoting him or his platform if we can't agree on like some basic tenets of liberalism like we shouldn't try to murder political opponents right that's I think that's like a fair ask for me I like how all these Muslims that are in Molina's comment section now saying that I'm a cuck because Molina posts pictures online wouldn't realize that technically that means that they're calling Andrew Tate like the ultimate cuck because he says he dated all of his cam girls and those girls are like rubbing their pussies for thousands of guys online. Like wouldn't the logic carry over? Doesn't that make Andrew Tate the actual like undeniable ultimate cuck? Like, <laughs> but the difference is Andrew Tate was under the table typing in the keyboard with a wig on. Yeah, that he makes him even typing. more gay. You're sexting with Andrew Tate when you're jerking <laughs> off to his girl. Like it's like it's the it's actually like gay coloury. Yeah, but dude, what color is your body? <laughs> Bro. 
I lost it when Andrew Tate was bragging about. Our, he was bragging on a podcast that he types to the men who are attacking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, like bro. <laughs> really? I was like, dude, because it's like I could have had millions of dollars if I didn't have boundaries, and then I could be like, I'm top G with my Ferrari. And, you know, it'd be so easy to take over the internet if I had no boundaries, right? Mm-hmm. It's just such a... such a, Actually, Stephen, I wonder, I'm like, you don't really use OnlyFans to make money, but, like, since you don't have... That's not, not a yet. boundary I think for Melina, you. I think Melina will eventually, though. She needs to. That fucking... No, no, I'm there. saying... Oh, I'm saying... I'm saying you know all these OnlyFans girls, but you oh. don't use them for content. Yeah, right. I thought the problem is that, like I'll go if I'm not careful like I'll get like super coomer brain if I'm not careful I because I thought about I have a lot of ideas for content like that It would be really funny to do only fans reviews Like I would get a lot of girls that would want me to like review their content They'd send me shit for free and I know a lot of them would want to fuck but like if I start getting involved in like that world I'm I, I'll actually get lost like in coomer land. It'll, it'll like fuck my life up probably so I have to try to be like somewhat Responsible it, it is weird because I'm living with Heel Mike and sometimes the girls will get mad because after we're done filming, he'll say bye, leave, and it'll just be me and him fucking getting some uh, burritos and talk about business. And I'm like, Mike, how have you not gone lost in the sauce? Like, how are you still business oriented and you're not just fucking every single one of them and shit? And some people, I guess, are like not as horned up, but I'm like, if Destiny did what those kind of kick streamers do... You would just be turning the stream off and like doing your. Uh, I guess it'd be like a chihuahua humping these girls' legs because you're smaller than them. They're, they're these are taller girls. Yeah. Is that but right? I, you know, I invited you to the house when I, that day I invited you. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's so weird that you think I'm bullshitting you. These were the most beautiful girls you'd ever see, and I'm not gonna fuck them. But if I got if if Stephen fuck them, then Stephen would do more favors for me, right? So I was thinking, I'm like, why do you go searching for girls in LA when, when like, I'm DMing you, here's the party, and you don't want to show up? Because I'm, and believe it or not, the friendship and emotional connection is, like, more fun for me than just, like, fucking random chicks. It's not like a, like, showing up at a house and fucking, like, two random girls is not, like, a, it's not fulfilling for me, I guess. Mm. That's what guys say, but if you were here and you saw what the shape of these girls' booty and stuff, you'd be like, well, maybe I can, uh... It was such a waste. I'm like, Mike, you're gonna fuck him? He's like, no, not this time. And he, everyone knows I'm not gonna fuck him. So we're just looking at each other like, Dude, someone's gonna fuck these girls. <laughs> okay. They were getting angry, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, out of ten of them, maybe one of them I'd, like, follow up with. And I'll show you her Insta. I think uh, I think you should date her, actually. But, because, uh, mm-hmm. like, really, I'm not I'm not going to just ask. Like, I'm not a DGGer who just gets favors from you and I don't feed you anything. For years, I've been saying, I've got chicks for you, Steve. Yeah, I don't need, fa- I don't, I don't need those kinds of favors from you. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I can't. I can't do any other kinds of favors. <laughs> Just do content. Don't forget me when you get to the top, okay? Nah, nah I couldn't. I couldn't forget you. <clears throat> Steven, you ever talk to the bitches you're piping? What do you say to them? Oh my god, dude! I'm just <laughs> fucking crushing this guy. Yeah. Uh, I like to be like friends with people I'm having sex with. I don't know. I don't think I could just like have sex like random like one off hookups. I mean I can, but it's not it's not as fun. I think. I I know what you mean. Like a bit of bond makes it go a long way. But are you are you saying anything to them when you're piping them? Um, I don't know. It depends. Mm. Jesus. You know. You know oh, what I wish. Oh, dude, this guy's like 5,400. He just got handled. This I guy here's got we, handled. Oh my I, god. Yo, know, Steven, imagine if women knew what we thought when they start speaking in a room. <laughs> god, listen, I don't hate women, okay? You do, I don't, okay? <laughs> no, but imagine, you know in the board meeting at work, when, when the woman starts to speak, and all the men feel the energy and the tension. <laughs> no. I don't. Oh, come on. Hmm. 
Okay, I got videos and shit I need to watch. Do you have anything else for us, or? All right, I'll be in chat. Okay, I'll let you be careful, babe. Later.